All right, I'm gonna see if I can go through a quick tutorial on this uh, dynamic of the game because I've stumbled across this over time. I think it might be helpful if you guys haven't figured this out already. So when you click on a resource spot, gather, uh, go to set your troops in the settings here. So I minus this guy out. That's the deputy fighter. And then your primary fighter would be, I always put in, like I already have my primary gatherer out. So I always find another gatherer. doesn't really matter what level the gatherer just because they're kind of a secondary troop. Especially they're not going to be gathering in enemy territory. So you don't really need to buff them up. And then see so you hit clear and quick select. It only puts the minimal amount of troops to fill the load capacity. To see, I think that's on screen uh, in the bottom right there. Um, and then you use wall breakers. And they have the highest load capacity per troop and so you send them out and then it leaves your two spaces over here for me on the right I have four marches open I have the primary gather out another resource node over here gathering right now it tells you when he's done and it shows up there on the screen as well if you recall them early you get it, all those um, resources as well and by doing it this way and this was a blue ar arrow you can't really see it until you get to a certain spot because we're getting real crowded. We're going to build another resource spot or game distributor here as soon as we have enough resources. And so you guys know what we see. Hit build. Okay, that actually popped right into place a lot of times if we run into obstacles, you know, things, mutants, or just like things in the way. So sometimes that's why the builds might look a little odd. This one was going to go perfectly right there. But it's cost 250 gold. We've got almost 200, a little over 200. We're doing great on the iron. We got a lot of that, so we'll keep kind of focusing on that because we've got uh, even more food right now. And I always try to re farm from resource spots that are resource nodes that are inside territory. Like this one's outside. That's fine. Like if we can't find one, and once we build this, this will be inside. Um, but like this one gets game re game resources for that, as well as personal resources. This one just gets personal resources. So, uh, zone two territories in here are gonna have higher level resource nodes than zone one, and so the more we open those up in there, the less we'll use any of these in zone one. We're just using them right now for the mega iron resource nodes. All right, I'm gonna end it there, and uh, yeah, hope that helps.